Madeira. What an incredibly diverse, scenic and unique island. One week definitely wasn't enough, so I decided to stick around for two. From some of the best hikes in the world to an array of outdoor activities. In this video, I want to share with you my top 10 things that you absolutely cannot miss when you come to Madeira. So stick around. So, in no particular order, let's start with number one. And that is canyoning. This was such an amazing experience because in my opinion, it is just the best way to really experience what Madeira is about. You feel super at one with nature. You're out in these wetsuits, abseiling down these waterfalls, going through like these streams and it's like, it's kind of challenging, I'm not gonna lie. But there are three different versions you can do. There is the beginner version, the intermediate and the advanced. If you wanna do the advanced, you're gonna be abseiling down like huge, huge waterfalls, some of the most incredible scenes and landscapes in Madeira. If you don't wanna abseil down, there are certain waterfalls that you can just jump off which is sick because it's almost like cliff jumping, but not best experience in my opinion. Number one on the list, canyoning. Second on that list is of course going to be tobogganing because that is what Madeira is very, very famous for. This is absolutely mental thinking that people actually got down from the top of the hill down into Funchal in like this basket and people would just push you down. A lot of fun. It's like being on a roller coaster, but without the rolling of the coaster. Now, if you're wondering where to get to the toboggans, if you're starting in Funchal, you're gonna get the cable car from Funchal up to Monte Palace. And when you get to the entrance of Monte Palace, just follow the road around and you cannot miss them. Next on the list, number three, Green Devil Safari. This is awesome because if you wanna cover a huge amount of ground in Madeira and you don't really know where to start, Green Devil Safari is for you. Wow, look at that rain. I was hoping to do this video actually down at the bottom, but unfortunately, raining, so I'm on my balcony. Green Devil Safari offer a range of full day and half day tours. By joining them, you can be sure to see everything that Madeira is famous for. Plus, lots of hidden gems you'd have never known existed otherwise. So, if you didn't hire a car, or you don't feel comfortable on the narrow roads, then this is your best bet. Next we got number four, and this is Miguel Is Here. Now Miguel Is Here is a company run by Miguel, and this is more of like a private tour around the island. Tailored to you. He also alters his routes daily based on the weather, the traffic, the road conditions, in order to ensure the tour is completely personalized. Us being in our 20s, we fancied an extra few poncho stops and a little more off-roading, and Miguel he delivered. So Miguel's more of a personalized 4x4 tour guide, so if you want to do that, go with Miguel. Or, of course, Green Devil Safari if you want more of a regimented route to follow. So three and four, two different Jeep tours. Go have fun on a Jeep. Next up on the list, number five, we've got hiking. You cannot come to Madeira and not hike. This is probably one of the best places in the world too high. There's hikes all over the island and even if you came for two weeks and just did hiking, you're not going to be able to do all of the hikes. There's a hike here for everyone, from advanced hikes lasting eight hours to ones as easy as two hours. Now the three hikes that you absolutely must do in Madeira is Pico Rero. I really hope I said that correctly. <laughs> this hike is probably the best hike on the island because you get that really incredible effect of the clouds sinking and like you're above the cloud. The second hike on the list I would say is Sao Lorenco. Four hours all in, two hours there, two hours back. There's also some nice areas to go for a little swim. So make sure if you do do that one, bring a pair of swim shorts. The last hike, number three, is possibly the most popular hike in Madeira and that is Levada 25 Fontes. And the reason it is so, so popular is for that photo at the bottom where the 25 Fontes all come together and there's this little cove and ah, oh, it looks incredible. It's so, so beautiful down there. So yeah, hiking, those are the three hikes that you have to do. Pico Rero, Sao Lorenco, and 25 Fontes. Next up, number six, we've got Madeira food on foot tours. Now, whenever I come to a country, 
I'm like so eager to engross myself in the culture, but I always find difficulty in locating the right restaurants to eat these foods and also just working out exactly what are the right foods to eat that are authentically Madeira. The tour is run by the founder, Jacqueline. She'll take you around Fun Chow, also giving you sort of like a history lesson. So it's not just a food tour. I think it's a great idea because in a four hour period, you're gonna go through the main foods. You're gonna get a good idea of what you do and don't like. And it's just gonna put you in real good standing for the rest of the trip and help you when it comes to ordering in restaurants throughout your stay. Next, number seven, we've got dolphin and whale watching. Madeira is meant to be one of the best places in the world for dolphin and whale watching because of course you're in the Atlantic. I did it with Rota dos Cetaceos. You go out on a speedboat, it's a two hour tour. We saw whales, we saw dolphins, and to be honest, it was such an incredible experience. Being out on the water. Wow, okay, look, hail. Next, number eight on that list. You cannot come to Madeira and not try what they are famous for, which is, of course, lots of things. But this, number eight, is going to be Madeiran wine. Now, one of the biggest exporters of Madeiran wine and producers of Madeiran wine is a company called Blandis. I paid €9.50 Euros for a 45-minute tour of their cellars. You also get two really generous wine tastes at the end. Five-year-old wine and a 10-year-old wine. So you come to Madeira, you go to Funchal, defo add Blandi's wine tour to your list. Next, we have got number nine on the list, which is surfing. Yes, believe it or not, you can also surf here. That is what is so crazy about Madeira. Like you've got so many options of crazy activities, fun stuff you can get up to. Fun for all the family. Unfortunately, this trip, I didn't get to go surfing. Two of the days that we had the surf booked in, the weather changed and it just meant that, you know, surfing wasn't possible. And last of all, number 10, the last thing that you absolutely have to do when you come to Madeira. And again, I wasn't able to do it because the weather conditions changed. Paragliding for all you adrenaline junkies heard amazing things about it and I will absolutely be returning to Madeira to do that as well as all the other things that I'm going to come back to do which is everything because it's absolutely amazing thing. so that is pretty much it for this video I do hope that it has been helpful for when you come and plan your trip to Madeira if you have enjoyed it hit the like button down there or down there wherever it is let me know your thoughts in the comments and also there's going to be some videos here where you can check out some more content from Madeira. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.